I'm going to Micro Center today and I'm gonna be building a super high-end gaming PC when I get there and then give it away to a random customer. Actually, it won't be a random customer. I'm gonna be doing like sort of like a game show type contest thing. Basically, everyone goes head to head and they fight to the death, but slaps only Big Willy style. Okay, that was my first idea, but that's a little too far. It's gonna kind of be like the Bitwit or Nitwit series that I used to do back in the day, but a little bit different. Here, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna get three random customers together, stand them side by side, and then I'm gonna ask them multiple choice questions that are tech related. They're all gonna be like PC or gaming related questions with multiple choice answers, A, B, C, or D. I'm gonna give them index cards that are lettered, and then they're gonna flash those cards as their answers all at the same time. Anyone who gets the answer right stays in the round. Anyone who gets the answer wrong is eliminated. If everyone answers the question right or everyone answers the question wrong, everyone stays in the round and we go on to the next question. We keep doing that until there's only one person remaining and that person will go on to the final round. Then we're going to take two more groups of three people each, do the exact same thing, narrow it down to three finalists, and pit them head to head in the final round until there's only one person standing. That person will win the gaming PC I'm about to build. Ew, is that a hair? Ew. I've never done something quite like this before, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun though. Um, it could be a royal disaster though too. You always have to assume that's a possibility when I'm involved. At the end of the day though, somebody's gonna be walking away with a free gaming PC that's again, super high end. I can't remember what the specs are off the top of my head. All the parts are waiting for me at Micro Center right now, so why don't we just go there and find out. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by Keoxia and their high performance SSDs. The BG5 is designed to deliver a balance of performance, cost, and power for everyday gamers and PC users. Bring PCIe Gen 4 NVMe storage to your desktop or laptop with a compact M.2 2230 form factor and leverage Keoxia's 5th Gen 112 layer Bix Flash 3D memory for best in class performance and endurance. For enterprise workloads, the CD7 series features PCIe Gen 5 technology that achieves 32 giga transfers per second per PCIe lane. It sports the latest enterprise and data center standard form factor and has been optimized for cooling, capacity, and performance. The XD6 is another EDSFF SSD with PCIe Gen 4 capability designed to the Open Compute Project NVMe SSD specification endorsed by big hyperscalers. As an E1.S drive, the XD6 is fully hot swappable, unlike M.2 drives, along with having higher capacities and delivering more performance. For more information on all Keoxia has to offer, click on the link in the description below. I've arrived at Micro Center here on this fine Wednesday morning, and everything's looking good. Look at the, first of all, just look at the GPU stock. Why don't I just show you the cards? RTX 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra from EVGA. We've got ASUS 3080s. There's a 3080 Ti. Tough gaming. Okay, it's looking. Ooh, they even have 3090s. Look at that. How much are they going for? Hey, at least they're at least they're available. They're in stock. But anyway, I'm getting a little carried away here, a little sidetracked. Um, I wanted to mention that because it's a Wednesday, it's not nearly as crowded here as it was the last time I was here, which was a Saturday. So I didn't really think about that. There's Last time this whole area was completely full, just swarming with people. And now I'm a little concerned that we may not have enough contestants for my little game show idea. But I have to build the PC first before we even get around to that. So why don't we take a look at the parts here and maybe by the time I'm done finishing the build, uh, maybe there will be more people here and we'll actually have something to go on. But for now, let's take a look at the parts. We have an Intel Core i7 12700K. This is a 12 core, 20 thread CPU with eight performance cores and four efficient cores. We also have an Aorus Z690 Aorus Elite AX DDR4 motherboard with PCIe Gen 5 support, fantastic. And we have a 16, no, this is a 32 gig kit, right? 32 gig kits of G-Scale Trident Z Neo DDR4, 3600 speed CL16. We have a two terabyte 970 EVO plus NVMe SSD from Samsung, NHD15 from Noctua. We're going full air cooled for this build. C850 from NZXT. We have an RTX 3080 from Gigabyte. This is their game OC model, 12 gigs of VRAM, awesome cooler, and that's all gonna be going inside of the Lian Lee Land Cool 2 Mesh C chassis. Uh, we also have uh, some free cables here from CableMod. As always, you guys can find links to all this stuff in the description below, but without further ado, let's build the computer. All right. 
right, the PC has been built, finally. It's working, I'm pretty sure. And we have our first group of contestants. Look at this. Yeah. They showed up, people go. showed up. How you guys doing? How are you doing? Good. 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 You ready to win, win this PC? Yeah. All right, I hope so. All right. First question, how many color combinations can you make with RGB? Is it A, 420,069, B, 8.2 million, C, 16.8 million, or D, 21.5 million? I'll give you a second to form your answers. All right, let's see them. C was the correct answer. I'm sorry, A, thank you for playing. It was a noble effort, gotta know your RGB. Okay, next question. We're already down to two. The power connector on an RTX 3080 Founders Edition GPU has how many pins? Is it A, eight, B, 12, C, 16, or D, 24? You guys good? All right, answers. Oh, the correct answer was B. I'm sorry, sir, you have been eliminated and you're going on to the next round. What's your name, sir? Raul. Raul, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling right now? Uh, nervous. <laughs> nervous, yeah, yeah. I, I'm nervous for you. But you did a fantastic job, got all the answers correct, wiped out the competition very quickly. I'm betting on I'm you. I'm the first one. Yeah, that's right, exactly. There's value to being first. Everyone on YouTube knows that. Why do you want this PC? Uh, to be honest, I just built one and I sold my other one to my brother, but it's a little bit older and he does more architecture stuff, any art design, and actually I'm probably gonna give it to him. That is that is very generous, sir. Very yeah. generous. I'm rooting for you, man. Good job. Thank you. I'll see you in the final round. All right, I've been walking around the store here at Micro Center and I've got group number two. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Are you ready for a chance to win this insane PC? That's why you're here, obviously. That's an obvious question. Okay, uh, you guys know how the rules work. I just explained those. Are you ready? All right, let's get it started. What is the pin count for DDR5 memory? Is it A, 240, B, 288, C, 304, or D, 420? All right, on the count of three, reveal your answers. One, two, three. The answer was B, as in boy, 288. It's the same pin count as DDR4. That was a semi-trick semi, semi -trick question. Maybe. Wow, these rounds are just insanely short. This is gonna be a one minute video. So what's your name? My name is Christopher. Christopher, did you know that answer or was that just a wild guess? Uh, if anything, I know everything is like multiples. Like when you do, it's like 64 to 128. I just guess off the multiples. That's that's some good observation right there. Raul's got some tough competition. Raul was our first uh, first round winner. Do you have a computer already? Yes, I do. Uh, is it better than this one? No, it is not. Okay, thank God, thank God. <laughs> if, it, if it was, then people in the comments would be flaming me right now. <laughs> Give it to me, I'm on the comments. Console. All right, cool. Well, good luck in the, in the final round. Nice All job. Right, thank you. All right, we're back. Round three. We got three more. These are our final three contestants. Let's do this. What does PWM stand for? Is it A, pressure-wide module, B, pulse width modulation, C, power window mapping, or D, pin width measurement? Has everyone got their answer? All right, let's see the cards. The correct answer was B, pulse width modulation. Just like that. You guys, you two are out, and we've got a finalist. We've got our last finalist. All right, let's go again. Let's go again, go again, go again. What's your name, man? Paul. Paul. Congratulations so far. Thank you, thank you. Uh, was that a wild guess, or did you already know? What no, um, I mean, I've been building the computer for like 10 years. Nice. So it's like a lot of these like acronyms, stuff like that, I don't know, shot through. I was like, okay, that, that's an easy one. You know, being a nerd really pays off sometimes. Sometimes it does. Do you already have a system at home? I do. I'm actually here for a water cooler, and then I just, ah. I like to happen to stumble across. I was like, let's give it a try. What are your specs? Uh, 3070 Ti, 5900X. Okay. And then, um, you know, custom water cool. Nice. What do you think you would do with this PC if you want it, knowing that you already have the one you have? I'm um, giving it to my little cousin. He's been nice. begging for a computer for like months. I'm like, let's nice. get him a computer. So. Would, you, would, would you give him your old system, or would you give him this new one? Probably this one, just to be a nice guy. Very kind of you, sir. Of course. I wish you all the luck in the final round. Thanks, man. Appreciate it's it. It's about to happen right now. All right, take a step forward, and then take a step to your left. One more step up, and one small step to the left. My finalists, you have made it this far. It's been a long and hard, actually, it hasn't been long at all. It was the quickest, quickest round ever. But this is the final round. Whoever comes out of this one takes home the PC. Um, all right, let's just get right to it then. First question, the final round. 
Which of these is a popular surface mount chip package found in laptops? Is it A, LGA, B, DGA, C, TGA, or D, BGA? Does everyone have their answers? Let's see them. The answer was D. You all answered A incorrectly, but because you all answered incorrectly, you're all safe and you're all going into the next question. Just, just keep, all of you just keep being wrong forever and we'll just be here for eternity. All right, here's a good one. Which of these are not part of a motherboard's VRM? A, capacitors. B, MOSFETs. C, chokes. Or D, batteries. Do you have your answers? All right, let's see them. Okay, all right. The answer was, the answer was D, batteries. There are no batteries that are part of a motherboard's VRM. There is a CMOS battery that's different. Uh, but once again, you all answered incorrectly. I think you're strategizing against me now. This all seems like a plan, but you're all still in it. So let's go to the next one. What does the D stand for? in TDP? Is it A, Delta, B, Design, C, Data, or D, Droop? All right, and cards. Okay, this is interesting. The answer was B, Design, Thermal Design Power. You're all wrong again. <laughs> This is great, this is exciting. At some point, someone's gonna strike out, and it could be on this next question. On mechanical keyboards, what type of Cherry MX switch features linear travel and is not clicky? Is it A, red, B, blue, C, green, or D, brown? Do you have your answers? Are they the correct ones? Let's see them. The answer was A, which means you are the winner. All right, all right. Sorry, sir, I got, I, I got so impressed when you got your name. Uh, Christopher. Christopher, that's right. Did you know that answer? Um, the only reason I know, we got our friend Jose, but who works at Target. Shout out to him, he told me which ones to get when I was asking for a quiet here. Wow, how recent was that? Uh, this was like two months ago. And do you remember that information when you were like looking, like looking, when you guys were looking at keyboards and yeah. stuff? Yeah, ADHD. <laughs> ADHD, shout out to the ADHD people out there. You are representing them all very finely today, sir. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> well, hey man, congratulations on the PC. You did a killer job. You made it all the way here. I did not think this was gonna happen, but thank you. Yeah, it's one of those, one of those weird days, you know? Yeah, it definitely uh, Days is. can be weird like that. Before we continue, special thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you're still browsing the web without the security of a virtual private network, this message is for you. NordVPN hides your browsing activity with their state-of-the-art technology and more than 5,300 servers in 60 countries. And while the process used to encrypt your data is highly complex, using NordVPN is not. Connect with one click or enable the auto-connect feature for quick and easy protection. Speed tests have also proven NordVPN to be the fastest VPN available with incredible performance that does not compromise speed for security. Of course, private browsing is just the tip of the iceberg. If a game isn't available in your country, just change your virtual location using NordVPN and buy any game to your heart's content. Pro tip, this also lets you take advantage of discounts available in other regions. Forget finding the best deal in your country, get the best deal across 60 countries. There's a lot more to NordVPN than that, so head to my special URL or use code BITWITVPN at checkout to get a two-year plan plus one extra month with a huge discount. And with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, it's completely risk-free, so you have nothing to lose. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much to Micro Center for sponsoring this one and for letting me wreak havoc in their store. This was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys would like to see more content like this, please let me know down below, or if you have any comments or ideas on how we can make this better next time we do this, feel free to share your thoughts. Thank you so much again. Have a good one, and <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video.